Ah, there you are. A very good evening to you. It's Saturday evening. Nothing gets past me. Saturday the 17th of December 2016. And it's me, Scotty McClue. If you've never heard of me, I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. And the McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. That is the McClue. Now then, a very, very good evening to you. We have lots to talk about tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp. So this is really just a short promotional video to let you know that me, Scotty McClure, will be with you, the global audience, tomorrow night at 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time because we are broadcasting live on Facebook Live from the United Kingdom. I am, of course, the cultural and creative ambassador for you. I am your link with the Western world, Dinky Doo. I say that is our catchphrase for those of you who are not familiar with Scotty McClue. We have only been about for 25 years. So there we are. And as I say, short promotional video just to let you know that 10 o'clock sharp tomorrow night, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time, I shall be live talking to you with the world's top talk show. Now we've a lot to talk about. I appreciate Christmas is just round the corner. A lot of you are very, very busy. And you say, I don't have time to watch this guy. Who is he? And then you think, oh, hang on a minute. He's one of the most famous people in the world. I need to tune in to Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. It's Saturday night. The time is just four minutes past nine o'clock in the evening on Saturday, the 17th of December. And it's just to remind you that we shall be live at 10 o'clock sharp. Now, there's also talk of would the weekly program be better at nine o'clock, nine till 10, rather than 10 till 11. It's up to you to choose that. I I don't mind but remember it's in all our interests because we're building an audience together we are building the world's top talk show and we're doing it together and we have lots and lots to talk about very often we skype as well at scotty.mcclue we've had to suspend that at the moment because we had a wee swearer somebody came on and said a naughty word so we're not able to take calls because i don't think it's fair to be a guest in your house and somebody using naughty language tot 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 i say now what can you do for me is the big question you will be asking and screaming at your computer screens right now and at your phones and your tablets and all your various devices. The thing is, you can tell everybody about the program. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue at 10 o'clock sharp. So there you are. And uh, Scotty McClue, run. You look as if you're you're feeling cold, says Jarvis Butler. Bring back the says Greg Kerr. Wadge is watching Dinky Doo. Ali Henning, good morning from Sydney in Australia, Scotty. Good morning, Ali. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure, ready for 10 p.m. tomorrow night, says Wadge. Kieran Fox is watching. Kieran, glad to know all is well with you. Take care of your dear self, a wonderful man, first class broadcaster. Scotty, have you got the cold? No, I had that last week, Jarvis. So there you go. And uh, David Russell's watching Dinky Do to you, David, from me, Scotty McClue, and from all of us here at McClue Towers. Um, Kieran's checking in. Are you not on the radio anymore, says Derek Ritchie. Derek, I can't go into detail, but there are huge discussions at very senior level going on right now as we speak. And who knows what the new year might bring for Scotty McClue. Bobby Gracie, New York knows about this great global show, says Bobby Gracie, an international businessman. And he's in New York at the moment. He's heading for the Bahamas. And we say to Bobby and to the Gracie family, bon voyage. Have a wonderful time because you are beautiful people and you deserve the very best of everything. That's McClue talking now. So there you are, dinky do. Wadge says, can you say hello to my wife, Zara? Of course I can. 
Saira, I beg your pardon, Sarah, have I said it properly? Uh, the sooner the better, says Derek Ritchie. Yes, absolutely, Derek. We'll be back on the radio. We'll get the lines open and we'll get the nation talking because there's so much happening. I mean, even forget the politics, the Brexit, the EU referendum, the Scottish referendum. There's been all these things. And have you noticed that a lot of the broadcast organisations run scared of having a wide open phone in for the people? to talk why i ask you never ever ever be afraid of the people because it's the people who look after us all we all look after each other we look out for each other and that's what it's all about new york who knows about the show i love that dinky do to everybody across the pond in the united states of america good luck with any venture you decide on scotty and dinky do says david thank you david very very much appreciated can everybody have a share moment we'll share this video right now it's only a short promotional video just to remind you that i will be of course live at 10 o'clock sharp tomorrow evening sunday the 18th of december at 2200 hours also um made up tom watt says hi hi tom lovely to hear from you safe journey says jarvis to the gracie family that is absolutely marvelous if all of you would like to share if you can tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about scotty McClue live of course we are live and it does have its moments Christmas is just around the corner. A lot of you will be out doing your Christmas shopping. Some of you may be at the football. Some of you may be around at Friends. You might have gone to Nana's and Papa's, Nana's and Lala's, and all that sort of thing. Um, are you taking any calls today, says Wadge. Wadge, I'm not taking any calls today. I don't have the Skype up, but I could do that. Two topics for your thoughts, Scotty. Southern and now Mersey Rail trains being godless. And also... What's going on in Britain's prisons? Well, well, absolutely. Now you see, I'm not saying this is the reason for peace to reign, but Scotty McClure used to be heard in the prisons. And uh, the prisoners were allowed to have radios. They would listen to Scotty McClure at night, and I would receive letter after letter after letter. I remember speaking to one of the governors and he said, yes, he said, I've got hundreds of innocent people in here. Not, <laughs> you know, but everyone said, how did he do it, Scotty, honestly. Uh, so there we are. So, Wadge, sorry I'm not taking calls. I probably could have done calls from yourself. Scotty, how old is that horrible cardigan? It's not a horrible cardigan at all. It's a very, very fine piece of Scottish knitwear, Jarvis, with uh, a bit of leather on the sip. So never mind all how old is that cardigan. Max and Molly are tuned in right now. They're being educated by the voice of the nation, says Bobby Greasy. <laughs> And marvellous people, I say, they are very well educated by their lovely family, Bobby. So there you are. Michael Yule's watching. Dinky-doo to you, Michael Yule. Hi, Scotty. Can you give a shout-out to Louisa from Basford in Nottingham? Yes, of course I can. Billy McKee is watching. Dinky-doo, Billy McKee. I might sing you a song in a minute. I'm going to have a sip of tea. I've got the old, uh, can you see it? A dial pottery. Beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? Oh. In classic. Mm. Mm. Lovely sip of tea. <clears throat> now then, Mike Henfield's watching. Ah, now Mike Henfield is one of the country's finest journalists. A wonderful, wonderful man as well. And uh, still a spring chicken. He's been on the earth for a few years, but he's still a spring chicken. And uh, has a lovely wife and family. And a wonderful dog as well. And um, Mike Henfield was um, my first radio managing director as Scotty McClue. And he is responsible for so much encouragement and so much good work over the years. So Mike, from the bottom of my heart, quite seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the wonderful things you have done in your life, for the wonderful things you have done for commercial radio. Mike Henfield, a pivotal man in commercial radio going right back to the start so there you are as i say a first class journalist and a great lecturer hugh miller where's your gloves scotty well hugh as you know i quite often wear my mitts to cover up a little bit of psoriasis i inherited genetically of course and my hands are looking absolutely superb so i haven't put my gloves on tonight i'm a bit cash tonight um scotty have you left a snowman naked? 
There were two snowmen in a field, and one turned to the other and he said, Can you smell carrots? Just a thought. Now then, um, all sorts of comments coming on here. This is absolutely marvellous. I was going to sing you a wee song, a Christmas song. <coughs> right. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds. Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Sing it with me. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a-laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Ten lots a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. There you are, a Christmas song for you to keep you going. That's got my seasonal ringtone first class, says Charles McLaughlin. Got in from Rogue One and Scotty's Live. Great, says David Steele. Andy Taylor's watching, James Bower's watching. The Twelve Days of Christmas was for me, aside from your lovely rendition, the late ex-father Jack Hackett's dear Noala version, if you know it, says Kieran Fox. Bless him, Kieran, and bless you. Hello, Scotty. Out in the taxi in East Kilbride, a busy night. 
says James Bauer. Absolutely, James. A lot of people on their phones watching this right now. This is just a short promotional video for tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time. Scotty McClue live with you. Would you like to change the time of the broadcast till 9 o'clock till 10? A lot of people discussing that, so see what you think about it. Be a great song to sing when you're drunk. Well done, Scotty. Funnily enough, I do apologise because um, it's, um, it's a different sound when you actually try it live. Shout out to my little Maltesers, says Rory McFadden. My brother was the voice of five gold rings back in primary school. He's gone now, says Angie Thompson. Bless him, I say. Share it, folks, says James Barr. Yes. Share, 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 share. Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. Now, guys, this is big. This is massive. We are the world's top talk show. We're building and building and building audience all the time. This is the new media. Think about the theory of it. It could put radio and television absolutely off the map. Facebook Live, fantastic stuff. And um, Scotty, would you not invest in a taxi, says Jarvis Butler. Jarvis, you'd be amazed what I've invested in in my time. Uh, made a little bit of money, lost a bit of money, and there it goes. But I didn't lose money because of the quality of the business. I lost money for another reason. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but um, best show on the planet, says James Barr. Jim Clark's watching, John Gillen's watching, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. like the old Nightline Scotty. Oh, the old Nightline, fantastic. Quarter of a million people listening per half hour. Evening, Scotty. Say hello to the Airdrie taxi drivers. Dinky-doo, guys. This is a wonderful thing. You can get this live on your telephone. Uh, can we make it 11.45 p.m. start? Reduce it to 15 minutes with adverts and traffic updates says Gordon Stirling. He's not a fan, but he never misses a moment of McClue. Of course, you miss a moment of McClue, you miss a moment of life. Scotty, en route home in the fake taxi. Roy Brownlaw's watching Dinky Doo, Roy Brownlaw. I saying, can't wait till tomorrow, Scotty. You are a legend, says Steve Burrows. Steve, I am a legend in my own lunchtime, and I thank you very, very much indeed. But the most important thing, we broadcast and we broadcast and we broadcast because there is so much to discuss, so much to be talked about. The United Kingdom is lagging behind the rest of the world in its talk shows. They haven't quite mastered the art of just talking to the people as people. For goodness sake, it's not rocket science. But that seems to be a big problem in the United Kingdom, getting the talk show uh, revolution going and uh, having lots and lots of talk shows. Hello, beam me up, Scotty McClure, says Roy. Absolutely. Get your cab on the road, says Jarvis. Now, guys, um, if you're awash with cash and you'd like to part with some of it, um, you can go to Scotty McClure's website, www.scotty-mcclure.com, and there's a PayPal there. You'll be saying, huh, is there nothing free? Yes, Scotty McClure is free, but there's a PayPal there. And if you'd like to donate something, it will be used to develop the show. Very important. Buy little bits of equipment, like perhaps a profanity device. And then we can take the calls. And if we get any wee swearers that can't control the dirty, filthy, mucky gob. Then uh, what we can do about that is just dump that. Gaff! You're interrupting Pipeline on Radio Scotland, says Gordon Stilling. Well, there you go. Um, ching Ching, says Jarvis. Absolutely. Ching Ching, my boy. No problem at all. Lots and lots of that. So, as I say, we could be witnessing the future of media live. Scotty McClue is now a global personage. Everybody knows Scotty McClue. I could have anything up to 7 billion fans. So there you are. Absolutely incredible. And of course, Facebook Live, a wonderful, wonderful platform. I'd be quite happy to talk to any principals if you're watching right now or you know of somebody who owns television stations, radio stations, newspapers, satellite stations, anything like that. 
uh, mobile phone platforms and they'd like to add some content to them. Scotty McClue Live, of course. I spoke to somebody who runs a big uh, uh, station down south, a television station. They said, no, I can't take the Scotty because you have a Scottish accent. Well, I take it there are some Scots down south as well. A week this Sunday, Scotty, is Christmas Day. What about Christmas Day speech? <laughs> He's saying better than the Queen. I don't think so. I think Her Majesty is a dab hand at delivering uh, a Christmas speech. But I may have Scotty McClue's Christmas message for you. There's a message in it. Have you noticed down south people talk about going on an errand? And in Scotland, we run a wee message. So there you are. I am, of course, a creative and cultural ambassador for the United Kingdom. And uh, remember to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, of course, about Scotty McClure, live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. But would you like it to move to 9? Mick Boyle's watching Dinky Doo, Mick. Scotty, what do you think of Wishaw? Rory, I love Wishaw. I remember going to Wishaw, and it was like a royal visit. Um, I was put in a limo, and I was taken out to Wishaw. People were hanging out the window at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we had a word with them. And Tam the Ice Cream Van Man says, Dinky-doo, dinky-doo to Tam the Ice Cream Van Man. A very, very fine fellow, a man I have a lot of time for. Kieran Fox says, media tuition should be required viewing for the next generation of our profession, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. I mean, at the moment, we've got uh, jukebox radio. That's what's happening uh, in a lot of the United Kingdom. So we need to get character radio again with people that the public can identify with. Never, ever be frightened of your audience, because I've been talking to mass audiences for nearly 40 years. And they're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. People are people. Nothing to be afraid of. You get these um, guys who become controllers because they weren't terribly good on air. And they struggle, really. You know, they panic if they think, oh, no, we couldn't have anything different. We really just want to put some songs into a computer and play them out to the people. People will be quite happy with that. Uh, no. Newsflash, I don't think so. So there we are. Errand comes from a German origin. And of course, in Scotland, you run a message. So there we are. Too much bonnet. So you're seeing too much. I'm showing too much bonnet. I do apologize. Sorry about that. Is that better? We don't want to show you too much bonnet. Anyway, as I say, this was just a very, very short video. Um, just a short promotional video to tell you to tune in live to me, Scotty McClue, here on Facebook Live tomorrow night. This is Saturday the 17th of December. The time is 24 minutes past 9 o'clock in the evening, coming up to 25 past 9. And um, tomorrow night it will be the 18th of December, and we shall be there at 10 o'clock sharp. Excellent. Yes, Ree, what you said about jukes, jukebox tuition. Yes, uh, no problem at all. Christmas madness in the shops today, says um, Roy Brownlow. Ah, yes, indeed, the, the shop's very, very busy. Um, I had to pop out to get some fluorescent tubes. Um, as you know, I've got the wife a new bag and a new belt, and um, that should make the vacuum cleaner run a lot better. So there we are. So that's quite good stuff. And um, I was at uh, the station today, and for some reason I burst into tears, and a policeman said, I could arrest you. I said, what for, for crying out loud? Well, there you go. Right. Um, now, also, what else have we got? Um, lots and lots of messages from you lot. Right. I shall push off, and um, as I say, I'll see you all now. Please, I beg of you. And I shouldn't have to beg, because we, you and I go back a long time. We go back a long way, but I beg of you, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Share and share and share. Liking is great. I love it. Thank you for liking. But also remember to share. I make no apology, although I do sincerely apologize for all the shares. You'll be going, oh, Scotty McClure again, for goodness sake. But yes, because we are building a massive talk show live on Facebook Live. It is the future of broadcasting. We're multi-platform. As I say, there'll probably be some very good news in the new year. I can't say too much about it because it is operating at a very, very senior level. But having said that, all good things come round. A shout out to Maggie from Basford in Nottingham, Steve. Yes, we did that. And uh, Scotty, 
the missus. Yes, <laughs> the missus. What's the missus like? Um, as I say, I passed a, a churchyard and there was a chap in floods, absolute floods, looking at the ground and saying, why did you have to die? Why did you have to die? And I said to him, I said, please, I don't wish to impose upon your grief. I said, but I take it this is a close member of your family that you've lost. And no, I didn't actually know him. It was the wife's first husband. Right, apology accepted, says Jarvis. Uh, I don't know what for. So there we go. Uh, bless you, says Kieran. Bless you, Kieran. Fantastic stuff. And to all very fine broadcasters, I know you're all watching out there. I say to you, dinky do. Very, very important. And, um, oh my goodness, the messages keep coming. It's tremendous. Right, I'd better push off. So, also, can you check out all the social media for Scotty McClure? Get on to Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, go to it right now and follow Scotty McClure. You can do it on your phones or your tablets or all your devices. This is new media, guys. This is uh, IT. This is digital. This is everything happening at the speed of light. We are global right now. I've just been talking to people in Sydney, in Australia. So that is rather fantastic. So wherever you are, let me know. Merry Christmas to my ex. Thanks for the divorce, says Roy. I remember actually um, a wife saying what she wanted for Christmas. And the husband said, well, she said, it's expensive. He said, is it a new car? Because I could get you a new car. We could lease it. She said, no, it's a divorce. I said, well, I wasn't thinking of spending that much, but uh, <laughs> there we are. Right, um, I always knew you'd apologise, says Jarvis. Yes, oh, absolutely, Jarvis. It's, it's it's big to say sorry, isn't it? You know, it's it's manly to say sorry. That's what I say, a good manly handshake. What's that between friends? Right, as I say, I'm pushing off because you're all fed up and you think we've got things to do. So there's Twitter. There are 140 videos on YouTube if you go to Scotty McClue Dinky Do World Broadcaster, right, on YouTube. And please, can you subscribe? If you're able to subscribe, we've only got something like 750, 770 subs, I think it is, but we've got something like 260,000 views. So if you can get stuff shared, that would be tremendous. Also, Facebook, I have several Facebook pages. And there's the Facebook fan group with two and a half thousand there. There's Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. There's a PayPal there. Now, as you know, I've always accepted applause or derision on my merits. I don't have the luxury of a license fee. But if you're feeling flush and you're feeling generous and you think, I'll send Scotty McClure a quid, two quid, three quid, four quid, five quid, some people have sent 10, some people have sent 50, some people have sent 100, you can do 1,000, you could do 50,000, just depends on how flush you are. Also, if you own newspapers and a television station and radio stations and all that sort of stuff, think about hiring old McClure and we'll get you an absolute cracker of an audience so there you go and they uh, also night night mr scott here says roy push off says jarvis okay jarvis just going and as i say take care of yourselves i'll see you all tomorrow night from me scotty McClue, and everybody at McClue towers i wish you a dinky do saturday evening i'm going to watch um a film now where he goes there Oh, how fantastic is that? I've seen it before, of course. I've just discovered it. But uh, tremendous stuff. And I say to you all, dinky do. Shall I sing you a song as a farewell? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we thousand au revoir and a cheery -o. See you tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp. Be there on B-square. Until then, from B-square to Blue, dinky-doo!